Hey everyone, so I've gone forward and covered my brows from the queen, looking cute. And I use Krylon Spirit Gum and um, Eyebrow Plastic. Now I'm using the TV Paint Stick by Krylon in G11A and I'm just going over the eye to create a bit of a base. I'm then going to set that with Krylon Loose Translucent Powder. This is my favourite powder because it's waterproof. Get it in your eye, it's always good. And then just dust off the excess. I'm then going to use the Urban Decay something palette. Don't know what that's called, put it on the screen. And you're going to go just into the outer corner and the crease with a blue shade. You don't really have to be too neat about this um, because it's pretty much going to be covered with glitter anyway. You can always go in with a clean brush after you've laid down different colours to blend out the edges. But as I said, it's going to be covered so don't worry too much. Then you're going to go in with a darker blue from the same palette. And just go over what you've already laid down. Try and keep it more to the outer corner. You're, you're going to go over that with black at the end anyway. Um, so again, don't make it too neat, but you just need the different definition and to create kind of a dimension to the eye. If it looks like it's not blended enough, it's probably not. So just go in and just blend and blend and blend until you physically can't blend anymore. It's better that it, that it looks kind of diffused as you go along then to end up with a load of colour at the end that you can't blend out. And then just go in with a clean brush and do those edges. And then take the same blue just under the eye. Now is when we use black, so take any black shadow, mine's a Krylon one from my custom palette. You're going to keep it in that outer corner, take it up into the crease. And along the lash line, but not all the way into the inner corner, because we're going to keep that bit light and shimmery. Blend it inwards. Now we're going to use MAC Vanilla Pigment and just highlight that brow bone. You want to leave a little bit of room between where you're going to draw your brow on and the blue eyeshadow. So now we're using Lasting Line by Bare Minerals in Absolute Black. Just go over it with a really, just go over a really thin line on the lash line and then you're going to line um, your waterline and your tight line as well. You want it to look really smoky. Then take a cloth or a, this is a baby wipe, and sweep away the excess. Now I'm taking two Krylon TV paint sticks and mixing them together to find my um, skin tone. literally just keep blending again until you physically cannot blend anymore. And then you're going to go in with the lighter of the two colours that you used. I'm using them on the highest points of your face, so I've done on the chin, the cupid's bow, under the eyes, I'm going to take it down the nose and just on the centre of the forehead. 
William's got gold given cheekbones, so you really need to concentrate on the highlighting. He doesn't, he doesn't wear a lot of contour, and if you've got a lot of contour on, you can tell, whereas if you've got a lot of highlight on, it's a little bit more subtle. If you're super pale, you can always go in with a white. Then we're using, again, TV Paint Stick in NG1, which is my contour colour, and we're just going to go along those contour lines, just slightly under the cheekbones, along the top of the head, under the lip, to create a fuller bottom lip. And then we're going to create a Willem chin. We're going to also define the cupid's bow as well. And then again, go in and blend. If you want a bit more precise contour, you can go in with a, like a smaller, more precise brush. But I quite like just to blend out with um, with my beauty blender. So as I said, we're going to want to keep the contour quite natural. But at the end of the day, this is a drag look, so a little bit more than an everyday. You're going to want to blend it upwards as well, so you've got that clean line under the contour from where the ear goes down to the mouth. That's what's going to really kind of cut and accentuate those cheekbones. Can't eat that. Create that beige rainbow. And then you're going to just take a sponge and smite yourself in the face with it with some powder to set everything down. literally just smack your face with a sponge and fill your oats and then taking Benefit Hula Bronzer just to redefine those contours when you set them down with powder you can use a lighter powder to set down the highlights if you want I just absolutely don't have time for that so I just like to use one setting powder all over the face and then just define the contours. Now I'm taking the Smashbox Crush on Blush palette and I'm taking the two orangey shades. In the look that I was kind of inspired by, um, by Willem, he was wearing quite a bright orange blush and he tends to kind of blend it in with the contour. So take it from the apple of the cheek up to the top of the ear and Willem likes his blush so don't be shy. Also don't blow on your palette like I am. Then I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown. Obviously Willem's blonde, but I'm not, and I didn't have a blonde wig, so I'm doing it to match my hair, otherwise I'd look like some sort of little goblin. So Willem's brows are quite fine, um, and he does cover his brows, but he does keep the front of them, uh, so that it's got more of a natural look. So just create the basic shape, the outline, and then fill them in. You can always go over them with... Um, like a brow gel if you've got natural hair there, but obviously I covered mine so it would have nothing to cling to. Keep the front quite natural, but keep, keep it that kind of feathered look. And then match the other side. Now these brows were definitely sisters and not twins, but that's fine because if you're a true drag queen you're going to have a wig on anyway. and. Hopefully your wig will be too terrible that it will draw attention from your eyebrows. You can go back with a concealer and conceal any mistakes you've made afterwards around the brow. That will give a really sharp brow. And I'm taking the Bourjois Liner, I cannot say this name so I'm not going to try, it's a black liner, it's a 16 hour wear and it's the most fabulous eyeliner ever, I've been wearing it since I was about 15. Just do a quick wing, as I said the majority of the eye makeup is literally just going to be covered by glitter so you don't have to be precise about it, just get the colour down. Again, your line is also going to be covered by lashes. I mean, you don't want it sloppy and not on fleek, but, you know, don't take 10 hours over it. 
Then I'm taking the Kiko Glitter Liner in 01, and I'm literally just using this across the lid to give a little bit of sparkle. As I said, we're going to keep that inner corner quite light. It's quite a natural glitter, as natural as glitter can be. Um, but it's just quite nice when you kind of turn your head, especially if you're on stage, if you're going to be wearing this makeup to actually perform. It's quite nice when the glitter hits the light. Okay, so you're now going to make your own custom blend of glitter. Take a clean pot or, you know, blow the excess powder out of your powder lid, just like I did. And I've got glitter all in my powder, so it's probably not the best plan. So I'm taking a light blue loose glitter, a purple glitter, that one's by NYX. Um, that's a kind of darker purple glitter. A silver. And then I'm mixing them all in pot there to create my own kind of custom colour. You don't have to do this. I'm pretty sure this is what Willem does. Um, I know he uses a lot of OCC glitters, um, but I didn't have them. So I literally have just used craft glitters. Um, I would not suggest using craft glitters around your eyes. This did leave me a little bit kind of sensitive around the eye area, but I only was wearing this for, you know, the purpose of the video. So if you're going to be wearing it for a long period of time, just get, you know, actual cosmetic grey glitters. And then literally just coat them around the outside of your eye. So back in with the MAC Vanilla Pigment. I'm going to use this to highlight my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, down the centre of my nose, create that little exclamation point. As I said, keep your highlights kind of, you know, strong. Go over your brow bone because, you know, you can never have too shiny brows. Just going with any old mascara, this is just the first one I have to hand. It's going to be covered with lashes anyway, but it's quite nice to just get that base down. So here I'm going in with a pair of bottom lashes. This is um, a three quarter lash and I actually just got a big pack of these from eBay. Um, I'm applying it on the outer corner of my eye. Willem does wear bottom lashes most of the time and he was in the video that I was inspired by. We're now taking Vegas Nay Isla in Grand Glamour. This is not a typical drag lash, it's just I have a very small eye um, so I can get away with wearing a kind of normal lash and it's going to look a lot more dramatic on me. I'm also going to stack this again. So I'm putting that on both eyes and kind of winging it up slightly in the outer corner and then taking another pair of that three quarter lash that we've got on the bottom and I'm putting that on the top lid which is going to create almost like a stack to the lashes. This didn't make too much difference um, but it really it kind of gave, gave that contrast between the inner and the outer corner. So now I'm taking Smashbox Always Sharp Clear Lip Liner. The reason I'm taking a clear lip liner is because um, I have quite a full lip and I find anything I put on my lips, no matter what product it is, it's going to bleed. It's going to bleed out of the lip line. So I'm literally just creating that kind of waxy barrier. And then taking OCC Lip Tar Primer. Now this is a test tube because clearly I'm a cheapo and I couldn't buy one. Um, but who cares? So just prime your lip with that. You can use a brush, uh, your finger, your mum, whatever you feel like. This will just help your uh, lip tar stay on longer. I always wear this under the OCC lip tars because they are absolutely fab. If you're eating, drinking, like a normal lipstick, it's going to come off. And then go in with your lip tar liquid lipstick. Now this is in Robo Hoochie and I actually got this when I went to see Willem and went to a meet and greet. That was me um, dying over the smell. Living, dying, breathing, gagging, sneezing. So yeah, I just put that on like a normal lipstick. So yeah, this is the OCC shade in Robo Gucci, and this is the one that Willem came out with. And I literally think it's the most beautiful thing ever. Every time I wear it, I just fall more in love with it. But then I don't want to wear it in case it runs out ever. Willem's got quite a full lip anyway, but he does slightly overdraw, so if you feel like it, you go for it. You overdraw that top lip. High enough to Jesus. Do 
And there you have it. Looking like a first class foe. Girl, you feel yourself! Ooh, girl. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye!